Hi, my name is Sunil Fernandez. I'm the managing editor for GoodReturns.in. I'm here to speak to you and tell you what happened at the RBI monetary policy. The monetary policy committee, which met uh, two days ago on June 6th, uh, today finally did, uh, delivered its verdict and uh, the RBI monetary policy has decided to hike interest rates by 50 basis points. So uh, the repo rates, as it is called, or the rates at which the RBI lends money to banks has been hiked by 50 basis points. So the repo rate now moves from 4.4% to 4.9%. Remember, the RBI also hiked uh, interest rates uh, way back in month of May. So there's a back-to-back -back, uh, hike in interest rates to now uh, from 4 to 4.4 in May to 4.9% in June. Now, what's going to happen is uh, that interest rates across loans are going to be higher. Uh, we expect interest rates on home loans, car loans, auto loans, gold loans, all to go higher because of uh, today's increase in interest rates by the RBI. Now, while uh, loans will get costlier, what will also happen is that retired people who depend on uh, fixed deposit interest for their source of income will also see interest rates go higher. So it works in two ways. Loans become more expensive and interest rates go higher and deposits interest rates will mean better income for people who depend on fixed deposit interest as a, a source of income. So that's uh, a couple of things that are going to happen today after the RBI delivered its verdict. Banks are going to uh, take a look at their uh, asset liability and decide on uh, interest rates uh, on uh, lending as well as on interest rates on deposits. Now, coming to the reasons for the RBI to hike, remember they hiked interest rates in uh, month of May, now again in June. So let's tell you why the RBI has hiked interest rates. One of the prime reasons for hiking interest rates and probably the only reason for hiking interest rates is that inflation is surging. Now let's tell you something of in, about inflation. Uh, CPI inflation for the month of uh, April hit an eight year high of 7.79%. Now the RBI's mandate is to keep inflation around 6% or below. Now, it is mandated to control inflation. Remember, the two, the one of the ma important mandates of the RBI is to control inflation. And uh, the, the tolerance level for the RBI, the maximum tolerance level is 6%. So the month of April saw inflation surging to 7.79%, which means it's way above the tolerance band of the RBI. This is one of the reasons for uh, uh, the RBI to hike interest rates today. Now, that is far as CPI inflation. Wholesale price inflation or what we call WPI inflation uh, surged to 15.1% in the month of April. That's a whooping number and uh, this is uh, one of the reasons also that the RBI was prompted to high rates. Though the RBI does not look at WPI inflation, it looks at CPI inflation. Nonetheless, WPI inflation at 15.1% was a new record. So this has led the RBI to increase uh, repo rates. Now, what happens when interest rates go higher is that uh, borrowings become less and it tends to impact the economy. So to that extent, the RBI has to balance between raising interest rates and economic growth. Remember, if you raise interest rates faster and more quickly, it tends to have an impact on economic growth. So the RBI has to balance uh, between both uh, of them and the uh, RBI governor was very clear that the uh, inflation level has uh, been above the tolerance level of the RBI and uh, our own belief is that for the next three quarters uh, the uh, inflation will be above that 6% mark for the next three quarters. Uh, coming to GDP numbers, the RBI projected GDP at about 7.2 uh, for financial year 23. Apart from this, the RBI also revised its inflation guidance from 5.7% for FY23 to 6.7% for FY23. So today's uh, policy was all about controlling inflation. Uh, clearly, interest rates in the economy are headed higher, loans are going to become expensive, and interest rates on deposits are going to move higher. Thank you for watching.